Hey guys, I'm Dan Whitaker. Today we are going to take a look at Mike's golf game. So this is episode three of the video vlog, whichever way you want to kind of look at it, part of helping him rebuild his game. So first one, we obviously had a look at problems in the swing. So today is having a look at making those changes. The lesson actually evolved as it went along. To start off with, I didn't think we'd be doing first move in the lesson it actually changed and we've all where the arms were positioned during that takeaway take a look at it some great stuff that i think can help everybody start to get their arms in a better position in that backswing so starting off the first lesson following on from the previous video we saw so what we've got is Left knee is kicked in a little bit too much at address, so we're just going to fix that. The knees are a little bit pinned. Stance are probably a tiny little bit too narrow there. Weight's definitely on the toes, so we're going to fix that in terms of address position. And what we then are seeing is from down the line, let's just get back to the start position here. We'll see that we're losing head height right here, so we can see now that we're losing probably about it inch and a half, two inches about this stage in the backswing, then starting to lift back up towards the top, but that's also then starting to alter the posture, which then leads to those arms dropping down as that spine is starting to lift back up again. So what we're gonna do is today, is we're gonna take a look at how we can maintain the posture, stay in that spine angle. We're not gonna do anything else on the first move, yeah, we've both have agreed that we'd like to see a little bit more hip rotation in this first move away, a little bit more chest rotation, but for now it's going to make no difference whatsoever to kind of where Mike's going to be at in terms of changes. This isn't one of the big changes, more of a tweak. So, Chief. Which is that a better width there, yeah? Yeah, so I feel like the knees are going out, I feel like the left knee's out towards me at address. Yeah. That makes that hip like that. that posture better doesn't it yeah straight away okay so never understood how to do that so what you want to do is try and feel like that shoulder's going across towards my hand yeah so feel like that's moving that in that direction right, so i'll keep it up more okay you know you see how that's, that arm's got a little bit deep across your halfway back mm -hmm. again okay so take that only to about here where my hand is yeah okay okay stop all right so we'll we need to see how this wants to keep travelling in. Yeah, it's okay. too trapped to be in it. Okay, so there, this needs to be allowed to move outwards, so it needs to be allowed to. Yeah. As you set that left wrist from there, yeah. as you cock it, feel that that arm mm -hmm. gets away from you, gets closer yeah. to parallel to your feet there. Yeah, okay. It won't be no, parallel, right. it'll actually be slightly inside. Yeah. Now from there, mm -hmm. now take it up to the top. So your arm's going to sit a little bit higher on you. Right there. Okay, so obviously what we're getting is we're getting a little bit of this. We've been getting where it's dipping down like yeah, that. Yeah. So, but when we've got you turning across, your arms have just been going in. Yeah. Because they've been so attached this way, you've been able to get away with a set. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so we'll obviously get rid of the dip. Let's get you staying in posture. Let's get it setting and get your arms a bit more that side of you. So set up again. Decent first move. Have that arm move out from there. So, there. Yeah, okay. Do you see now on the on the uh, screen there? Yeah. So the foot's uh, yeah, closer. Yeah. Okay. So now yeah. just, that can be down just a little bit more there, mm -hmm. naturally. Okay. Yeah. Now from there, just stay in posture and let the shoulder stretch across. So your hands have sit a little higher on the shoulders. Yeah, it feels well different. Okay, so that's definitely different there. Mm -hmm. Okay, do that again. So we're replacing this move where we've been going and dip and in yeah. with a cross and a little bit more up. Okay. Okay, so across. And on and on. Way better. Now keep going. Miles different that. Do it again. There, there you go. Spot on. So just okay, so shoulders like, got to feel like the left shoulders going across or upwards. So 
it's like is that it? yes or even feel like it's going that way yeah, so I'm going to feel more just all again take all again just going to feel a bit more that way Okay. So if you think, so it's almost like they're going to go feel like they go, and they go you're going to feel like you go there, mm -hmm. not where you want to go. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, so it actually becomes tilted, yeah, yeah, get which drops your head towards the target. See, yeah. actually like that. It, it's going to be a feel of that. Yeah, yeah It's not going to actually no, no. be a roll <coughs> across, but it's got to feel a little bit that direction because you're dropping so much. So that's way different. That miles better, mate. So now if we went like this, start, start again, start, start again. So imagine that that shoulder mm -hmm. is trying to stay on that level. There you go. I think you could change most of this back to without going to the range a lot. If you find the time each night to do, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Not just this, but doing just backswing movements with some feedback in front of the mirror or anything. Your neighbours might think you're a bit mad. It's almost like... See, that's miles better. It's almost like that right shoulder's going... It feels like it's going down for me. Okay, because it's, like... it's tilted upwards so much previously, yeah. you mean? But it's not, it feels like it's going like... over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your idea of first move was to do what, mate? Uh, right, so keeping that triangle. So that triangle's obviously going back for way too long, and I think that's one of the reasons that then to get the club in the air, you've then been dipping down. So your shoulders got too steep. So what we want to try and do is, okay, is first move, one piece takeaway, is simply just getting it to where the club passes, or the hands pass the right leg. So, so just do that first move. That's one piece. Now from there, the shoulder's on a different angle. Now let the left arm feel like it moves towards me and let the right elbow fold down. So that's got to be in a completely different position feeling-wise. Nice follow-through. Yeah, get the knees out. Now let that arm come out. One more. First move, arm out, way different. That's two stages just like you did. Okay, and again. Right, now let the ball doing it like that. Okay. Doing two stages. The pause. Good again. Great. Now do it in one movement without a pause, but really slow so you can feel everything. That one wasn't flushed. <laughs> Okay, so pretty big difference here, mate. So what we're obviously seeing is we've changed the address position in terms of where the feet are positioned and the knees. Got the weight a little bit more back on the right-hand side, a little bit on the toes on the left-hand side. So obviously, we saw it tilt even further onto the toes there just as you're about to start taking the club back. So then saw the shoulders tilt a little bit too much. Arms went in, okay. And they went a little bit more across, definitely more tilted. So what we've got is we've got you staying in your posture a lot more here on the right hand side, trying to feel like you maintain your height through the spine angle a lot more. Okay, so we can see here, head's not dropping anything like it was doing. Okay, and we can see now that left arm is getting off the body. because It's got the ability to do that because the shoulders are on a very different angle. You have a look there, look how tilted the shoulders look on the left and the head, and look at how much more in posture it looks on the right hand side. So we can see right here where posture, you know, everything looks very tilted through here, kind of from the back of the jeans line to the middle of the ear, okay? So very, very different there. Obviously that's not quite the true spine angle, but the shoulders are mega steep versus nowhere near as steep there.
Okay, so a lot, lot shallower. Okay, we can see also what we're tending to be able to see now is because the way the shoulders are working in the new movement, we can then see that the left arm is getting off the body a little bit here. So we get some daylight. And that gives you the ability to get those arms more in front of you halfway back here rather than getting as far back before and then obviously before it was all lifted at the top to try and recover it which actually lost you all of your angles and probably lost a load of the set the big bit before though was definitely that we're tilting okay let's take a very quick look at the setup position which is looking quite a bit different so last week knees were a lot more inwards a lot more pinched Feet are only a tiny little bit further apart but because we've kept the gap between the knees better, okay, what we're going to be able to do is keep the structure a bit stronger. Here we'll see that the knee dropped quite a lot even during the first move because we lost so much height. Here because we're keeping height a lot more without really thinking about that as much, that knee's in a much stronger position. So instantly we're getting the knee just off the byproduct of the other areas. Okay, and we are definitely getting a little bit more set out halfway back. So obviously before, this is obviously an exact angle, but somewhere near. Oops, let's redo that one. Somewhere in there, now we're getting a lot more set. So I mean, it's not exact science that on those lines, but you can definitely see that there's more set in there. Okay, and obviously just a stronger structure and shoulders are working in a different angle. Thanks for watching the video guys. I think you're gonna really enjoy this series with Mike. Mike's gonna practice a couple of times now and work at his game in between now and a second lesson. Stay tuned to watch the improvements that Mike makes. Also, I'll have uh, practice videos that he'll be putting together so we can actually chart what that progress is gonna be. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. I've got loads more videos coming. If you want to contact me, please do so via my website or my other social media links below. Thanks for watching and speak with you again soon.